So, my home office needed a makeover for so long. After weeks of hard work, I finally managed to finish it and I can't wait to share it with you. I'm on by the way, thank you so much for stopping by, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so we can start right away. So this is my home office. Both me and my boyfriend are working from home for years now and we desperately needed a change. First let's talk about the layout. This is where my boyfriend works and the other side is me. That's because I didn't want to work and stare at a blank wall so I ended up looking at this. The other side of the room is just cramped. Nothing is organized, everything's on the floor with no plan or purpose. I mean, just look at this, it's ridiculous. Also these shelves are loaded with things I don't need laid out, they just look busy. No curtains, no light fixture, no rock. Should I go on? I think you've seen enough. Like every great makeover, we have to start with to-do list. And here's the actual plan for the makeover. First things first, we are doing an accent wall in this wavy cream checkerboard. We are also doing a budget DIY desk from plywood, adding a large rock, curtains, changing the light fixture, some IKEA hacks along the way, and lots and lots of DIYs. The style I'm aiming for is this creamy, earthy Danish pastel. So once I cleaned everything, I moved on to filling the holes. I then sanded them with 100 grit sandpaper block. And now it's time to prime the walls. Once the walls are primed, we are ready to paint. I opted for this off-white cream color to warm up the space. And I'm painting everything, including the ceiling. So let's start. Now it's the next day and everything looks great. So we are ready to tackle the accent wall. Using this pencil, I'm tracking up lines to make a wavy checkerboard. 
Now, I followed a template and I'll make sure to add a link to the exact template I used to draw the lines. A great way to trace it perfectly is using a projector, but since I didn't have one, I decided to just eyeball it. For the checkerboard, I picked out a sample from the same beige palette, only a bit darker. And now we paint. And let me just say, wow, honestly, I surprised myself. The wall turned out amazing, exactly as I pictured it. I just love it. And now we can move on to the dresser. I wanted to change up the handles, but I wanted to do it using this wood trim. This is actually such an inexpensive way to upgrade your hardware since this trim was only $4 and it was more than enough for all of the drawers. I'm measuring exactly 50 centimeters for each handle and we are cutting it using a circular saw. Although you can totally cut this with a hand saw too. Now, could I have come up with a better solution for attaching these handles? Arguably yes, but the good old nails worked just fine as well. Now let's move on to the office chair. This chair works just fine, however there are two problems with it. First, it needs a little bit of cushioning to be comfier and second, I just hate the color, so I'm reupholstering it. But first, I need to deassemble it and let me tell you, the struggle was real. Two thousand years later. I'm reupholstering my chair with this black fabric, but before doing that, I'm adding a piece of foam to the seat to make it comfier. Once everything's cut out, it's time to load up the staple gun. One 
One eternity later. This is the perfect example that in most cases you only need a little bit of work to remake something to be great again. Now let's move on to this area. I had this idea to add a mini desk above the fridge. This space is never used up and I'm planning to add a printer here in the future. So a mini desk would be the perfect solution. However, I needed the night to rethink how to pull this off. Now it's the next day and I found these IKEA brackets in my garage, so I decided to use these to attach the shelf. And this worked great. Now let's tackle the fridge. We don't necessarily need a fridge here, but we don't have any other space for it in our home, so we are keeping it in this corner. So I found this bamboo mat in the thrift shop. I think you can find a similar one at IKEA. And the idea is to attach it to the door as wood paneling. So that's what I'm doing. Now, if I could go back, I would never use a jigsaw or a circular saw for this project. Bamboo is so fragile and I should have taken the time and chisel it out one by one. But it is what it is and we are rolling with it. I decided to attach my wood paneling with a two side strong tape, mainly because we sometimes use this fridge for our camping trips, so I wanted to have the option to remove the paneling at any time. So this turned out to be such a render-friendly DIY and the tape holds up amazing. At the end, I decided to paint it with the same cream color I used for the accent wall. Now for Mars's bed, I wanted it to look like a poof. So I cut down two circles with a scrap fabric I had at home and a strip that's the size of the circumference of those circles. So for starters, we are attaching the strip to the first circle. I'm stitching it up before going in with the sewing machine. Once the first circle is attached, we are doing the same thing for the second one. However, this time I'm not going all the way. I'm leaving an opening to add the filling. Once everything is ready, I proceeded with adding the sides. I cut down foam for the sides and a circle bottom to add structure to the bed, otherwise the bed will just flatten out. And then we'll fill the rest with foam filling. And when everything's ready, to close it up, I'm using the invisible stitch. This bed turned out so great, it's so easy to make, but you'll have to wait up a little bit more to see how it turned out.
the desk was definitely a bigger project to tackle. And here is my plan. The plan was to buy a 2 cm thick piece of plywood, cut it in half and glue it one on top of the other to make the desk thicker. I'll make two legs, one on the right and one in the middle. And on the left side and in the back I'll attach it to the wall using 3x4s. Easy peasy, right? Now let's start! First things first, we are cutting the plywood to size to fit the length of the wall, which is 7 feet. Then we are cutting the piece in half. And now that we have two exact same 2 feet by 7 feet pieces of plywood, I proceeded with adding wood glue to attach them together. To secure the two pieces while they are drying out, I added lots of clamps and weights on top. Now it's the next day and my pieces are all nice and glued, so we can proceed with sanding them. Once the sanding was done, I proceeded with cutting down the legs to size. This is actually the tabletop from the old desk we had in our office and is the same thickness as our tabletop. And now when that's done, we can proceed with assembling the table inside. I decided to attach the legs with pocket screws. And I made a whole bunch of them on both sides of the legs. Before attaching them with screws, I added a little bit of wood glue for a better bond. And now it's time to attach the 3x4s to the wall. My walls are so flaky, so that's why you'll see me adding some plaster to the dowels. If your walls are also flaky and drilling without making a huge hole and a huge mess is impossible, plaster is a great solution. Mm -hmm. 
Now it's the next day and I decided to paint the edges in cream before applying the stain over everything. And for the stain I opt for a wood stain with primer and wax all in one. I found that those are more resistant to scratches. Once everything's dried out and ready, we attached it to the wall. Now what you see me doing here is making a hole for the monitor's mount. Right next to it, I'm making a hole for the cables and cords. And here comes the rug. This one is a Belgium rug from the beautiful collection Trentino. This one was 150, but it's honestly a one-time purchase. It looks gorgeous and it's so easy to clean. I added a simple white curtain I got from IKEA on the door and a beige blackout curtain on the window. To hide all of the cords that go around the door and in the corners of the floor, I use these cord covers. They work great. Now believe it or not, I thrifted this light for only $3. I added a big light bulb for this retro look. I installed it off camera since I don't really want to give you electrician advice, so if you don't know how to do this, please hire a professional. I'm also installing this LED neon light. I left a tiny gap on purpose between the wall and the desk, so this strip slides right in there. Also the floor lamp, which is an IKEA hack I did a year ago. It's super easy to do and it costed me less than $5, so make sure to head on to check that video out, I'll link it into the description box. For the whiteboard, my first plan was to add plexiglass, but that turned out to be so pricey, so I just found this big whiteboard in wooden frame and I just went with it. It honestly looks so gorgeous. Now, when it comes to the art, I did these first two pieces myself. I just sketched them out with a pencil and went over them with a black marker. However, this last art piece is my absolute favorite. This is a gift from my dearest friend Kate. Kate, if you're watching this, thank you so much. This is hand-drawn, just look at the attention to detail, she's so talented. I'll make sure to leave the link to her Instagram profile into the description box so you can check out her work. And to finish this nook off, I'm adding this picture latch, mainly because I needed a space to add the markers. And now it's time for the final touches.
Now let's get back for one moment to what the office looked like. It was cramped, with things lying all over the place, just one big mess. And let's see how it looks like now. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope you like my office makeover. If you did, make sure to let me know in the comment section below, I really appreciate your feedback. Also make sure to subscribe to the channel to never miss another video again. I'll see you designers next week, bye!